Welcome to Marcus at G.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make or 50 mistakes that business owners make. This is part of my ongoing series found at 50mistakes.com. Um, today's topic is data. And I have Jamie and Dina here with me in the office. Say hello, ladies. Hello. So I want to talk about a good customer experience that I just recently had at a place called REI. REI is a recreational outdoor sporting uh, store, REI. They're all over the country. Now, I went to my first REI again for the first time in almost 11, 12 years. I used to love these stores. I used to live in Colorado. We used to go to them all the time. And moving back to the East Coast, there was one that was in my sort of out of the way area that I'd gone to once or twice. And I haven't been to one. That, that location ended up closing. So I haven't been to one in almost 12 years. So I go in, I get great customer service. The staff is very well trained. And when I go to pay, they ask me, are you a member here? And of course I was a member 12 years ago, right? So I, I just nonchalantly said, well, I used to be a member years and years ago, like 12 years ago. I said, don't, I said, don't worry about it though. And she goes, no, I, I can pull up all your information. Isn't that amazing, Dina? Yeah, that's, Tw I mean, 12 years later, she 12 goes. 12 years later and they still have she goes, I will, I'll pull up your information. I said, okay. So I gave her a phone number and she goes, I'll have your phone number. I said, I doubt it. I doubt it's the same phone number from 12 years ago. I lived in a different state. And sure enough, she put my name in and she found my information. And she goes, let's update it right here and we'll, you're reactivated again. And I said, wow, that's simple. Now here's the thing. If you've read Raving Fans, they talk about collecting customer data to be able to get a comp competitive advantage in your field, in your business. And that's probably the biggest single competitive advantage that we use here, Dina, right? We can collect customer data because we want to know everything we can about our guests, about our customers, their spending habits, where they live, their birthdays. I want to be able to reward them. I want to, and you know, for a small independent restaurant, that might seem like a big task to go back 10 years and look through customer data to be able to pull you up, um, to have that kind of, you know, go uh, uh, that kind of history back into uh, in, into uh, into a computer program like REI. I mean, it was great that REI did that. I'm back into their system, and they were so friendly about it. It was that it was painless. But if you're a restaurant, you have to think the mentality of a big store like that, of a big company, of a big operation. That has to be your mentality. Now, I've been doing our database, G, for since we opened 10 years ago. I've been doing our database at my restaurant, and I can go back and we reactivate Dina people all the time, right? Yeah. Just the same way. Just once the you're, same way. Once you're in our system, you're in our system because you might have moved, because you might have not been shopping with us. You might go to the inactive mode. But as soon as you come back in, one swipe of your card, we put your phone number in, we'll put your name in, and you're right back into being a full member again. And it's a wonderful thing. So as a small business owner, you have to leverage your database because that's your single biggest competitive advantage for your business is your database. And if you go to my my, uh, my website, 50mistakes.com, there's several tips on how to build a database, how to manage a database, how often to communicate to that database, how to reward your database, how to segregate your database. Because if somebody spends 100 bucks in your store all year versus somebody who spends $3,000 in your store all year, you want to be able to send different offers to these people. You don't want to send blanket offers to every single person, right? That wouldn't make sense. You want a reward. In fact, your database is your loyalty program. It's your royalty program. It's your frequent flyer program, okay? So the more people use you, the more people give you money, the more you want to reward them, the more incentives you want them to come back into your operation. So I have all kinds of tips on 50mistakes.com on how to actually do that. Um, how important is your database to your business? Uh, please leave your comments, uh, criticisms, critiques. Um, I want to hear about your database and, and positive stories on uh, building databases and database management and how long you've actually had your database and, and you can keep that database and reactivate people in. I'm Chef Marcus Juliano. Thank you for watching.